outside this world. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Anon Grinning video, and today I'm doing a Mass Effect Andromeda uh, premium pack opening along with my rewards packs. I must first warn you that this is a very choppy, changey uh, pack opening because I'm brand new to it, uh, as is everybody to these Mass Effect packs. I didn't really know what I was doing, I saved it to premium pack before I started recording, which is a bit stupid, but just bear with me if I don't really know what I'm talking about. Uh, how can you blame me? This game's brand new, this is early release. I'll stay away as from uh, as much detail as possible to not ruin it for me but without further ado let's get into this uh, so the first thing good that we seem to pack is this Turian Soldier 1 uh, it's a silver card, uh, 2 stars and I think I'm going to take you over to the character selection screen in a minute yep here we go character selection screen to show him uh, so he's got 500 health, 275 shield, he's got fortified turbo charge and frag grenades as his skills uh, he's a little, he's, he's the same uh, in health and shields as uh, the human characters, which is, I think they're the highest you can get uh, in regard to both of those specs, as I've seen so far from the characters I have unlocked. So let's go in and open this Mass Effect 3 uh, rewards pack for loyalty, and then we just get that human, two human uh, male sentinels. They're nothing too special, we get a supplies one revive pack. Uh, here's a new character here, Sari Sentinel One. Uh, and let me just take you over to character selection to show her the show her. She's a silver two card as well. There will be some. Well, I think get one really rare card in here, the very rare cards. But as you can see, she has 475 health and 250 shields. Uh, she got back. She's got backlash throw and energy drain as her skills, and she is uh, a little bit weaker in both shields and health compared to humans but she'll make up for that in some way probably her skills will be a lot stronger or she'll have faster shield recharge stuff like that so let's not count her out I uh, will uh, so here's the starter pack uh, I don't think I get much in here it's just a few odd items like this so I will be doing reviews of these characters like in the early stages just so you have an outline of which characters are good, what's good about them, when to use them, stuff like that, along with uh, reviews of some of the weapons I get. Obviously, everybody's new to these weapons and nobody knows what's good or not. You could look at the stats and be like, oh yeah, this, this is a good weapon, it's got better damage, better this, better reload, better accuracy than another gun that could be absolute shit, whereas a gun that you don't suspect as being good could be great. So I will be reviewing those as well. So let's get into the premium packs. Here I seem to dabble and think, mm, should I do expert packs? And I go, no. And let's get into these. They came contain five random items, two that are rare, and a higher chance of one being ultra rare. We don't get any ultra rares in this pack. Uh, we get one combat power amp. We get the side window one uh, gun. That's a three star. That's a rare there. Then we get one Cobra RPG, which we've got before. And we get one pistol rail amp three, and SR barrel three is an attachment. So not an amazing pack. We got a new weapon there, so nothing too bad there. I'm pretty sure we can get doubles in packs, so it's better than getting doubles, I guess. At least we're still getting fresh items. Why wouldn't we? We've only just started collecting. And here we go. We get a rare character in the Angard Insurgent One. Uh, then we just get uh, some more supplies. What's this rare item? We get a sniper rifle, M90 Indra One which looks fairly decent, I've looked at his stats, uh, stats for all weapons and the characters will be shown at the end of this video uh, so stick around for that if my voice is boring you, why wouldn't it be? And so let's just take a look at our new Angar Insurgent he's got 450 health and 250 shields and he's got a shield boost, assault turret and trip mine as his skills they seem like quite useful skills there for holding down a position and then we have our Solarian Infiltrator 1 and his skills are Sticky Grenade, Tactical Cloak and Energy Drain and he is about on par if you include his high level shields to a human character but this Angar Insurgent does look pretty good for holding down locations so yeah when you get an objective like uh, data transfer or reviving a hostage he seems to be able to sit there and hold a position so on to our next premium pack, we again get the SR Barrels free as an attachment, bit annoying, but oh well. We get a new character in the Astaria Depth 1, and then we get some more supplies, and the Equalizer pistol, which 
is uh, not a reload gun, it's one of the newer weapons, it doesn't need reloads and runs on laser beams. So let's take a look at our Asari Adept. Uh, she is, she is, has got oh, 475 health, 250 shield, back throw, annihilator and lance as her abilities. You can see there that they are slightly different to the other Asari we have and maybe I will do a video looking into the differences between those two. So this will be our final premium pack and this is where we hit it good and we get a very rare item in this N7 card here. We get Angar Avenger 1 and then from that we get our Angar Insurgent 2 again that we've already received. Uh, another human map, an F2 which is just a bronze card so not rare at all but luckily we did get this ultra rare class close combat escape artist with stealth abilities to evade and melee attacks. The Angar Avenger lost her mother to the cat at a young age, since then she has vowed to bring every cat to justice. So let's see what she's like, she's got 500 health, 300 shield, uh, skills a sticky grenade, stealth uh, grid and avenger strike. She seems like quite a powerful character, you would expect her to be if she's ultra rare. So if I enter into my prestige now, I'll read you the other quips and quirks of each character we unlocked, what their skills are good for, what uh, sort of scenario they should be used in. So obviously I've already read this angle out so I won't do it uh, a second time because obviously you don't want the massive spewel all over again. So I'll quickly move on to the Angar Insurgent 2 and his speciality. So he's a rare class, master of holding one location with traps and localized support. Uh, this is what I predicted when we looked at his skill set. The fact he can place landmines shows that he can cover himself while holding down a single position. Uh, then we move on swiftly to our Asari Sentinel 1, uncommon class, tactical defense expert with tech armor and a versatile power set. So basically, she can hold down an area. You don't really want to get her too close to the enemy, she, she will take a lot of damage. But her uh, use of abilities and kinetic skills will hopefully help her fend off enemies with some power. Then let's move on to our Solarian Infiltrator. Again, uncommon class, stealth expert that uses a mix of weapons and tech. So he kind of seems like your sort of guy that uses grenades and stuff like that. Uh, and not really much to say here. I reckon he'd be quite an average character to use. I would reckon you won't see him a lot online. He would just be kind of your average sort of Joe. And this uh, Turian uncommon class weapon expert with heavy shield and armor. You'll basically be your run and gun class. I reckon I might use this Turian quite a lot. Just because in the original Mass Effect, I liked the uh, Mass Effect 3 mind player. I liked a character that could soak up some damage and was good with his weapons because I don't really rely on skills too much. So let's move on to the guns we unlocked. The first one is the Equalizer 1. Its statistics are 57 damage, 600 rate of fire, 35 max clip size, 1 max ammo because it doesn't use a clip, uh, 64 accuracy, and 20 weight. Then let's move on to the second gun here, which will be the M25 Hornet 1. It has damage of 37, max fire rate of 950, which is significantly higher than any other gun I've got. Its max clip size is 24, its max ammo 192, its accuracy 50, so worse than the equalizer and a weight, uh, weight of 20. The Sidewinder is a lot more damage of 150, but its rate of fire is obviously down as it is a pistol of 380. Its max clip size is 6, max ammo 42, accuracy 45 and weight 10 i reckon the recoil on this map this gun will be quite insane insane sorry and then we move on to our m96 matic uh just an uh un uncommon assault rifle 71 damage 450 rate of fire 16 max clip 112 max ammo 60 accuracy and 25 weight so quite a fairly average gun i'd like to try and unlock more rare assault rifles because that is a gun i usually turn to in multiplayer uh shooters whether it be uh wave based or online pvp so then we get our m90 indra 1 it damages 84 but its rate of fire is 500 25 max clip uh, 175 max ammo 61 accuracy and 45 weight this seems like a semi-automatic uh, sniper rifle when you compare it to the viper one it's got low damage but a significantly higher fire rate i reckon this will be a gun that i use quite a lot because on Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, I did like to use a sniper rifle with high uh, amounts of fire, 
a low amount of firepower but a lot of rate of fire. So there we go, this has been me opening various prestige packs and reward packs on Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm sorry the video is so uh, choppy and changy and haphazard, but this is because nobody really knows what's uh, good or bad pack wise or weapon and character wise in Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer. Everybody's only just got their hands on it, it will take a lot of trial and error to see what classes are good, in which scenarios and game modes, which guns are good overall, which stats matter the most, which attachments do the most. So yeah, you're just, it's just a work in progress really. So if you could stick with me on that note, it would be great. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to look at more Mass Effect Andromeda content from me. Hopefully it will improve in the future. But most importantly, have a nice day and enjoy playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Cheers.